All right, so in the previous video, we saw maps between sets. Now these maps between sets are given um, a special name. They are called relations. So when we say a set, we, we can use the word a set is mapped to another set, or we can say a set is related to another set. Now these relations um, can be described in words, right? So in the previous case, what we did was we described a relation directly by making the diagram by connecting the lines but they could also be they could also be described using words let's look at some examples let's say the relation is less than so we are saying that the set on we are trying to make the drawing or the connections based on the relation of less than so let's check is 0 less than 2 yes so we draw a line here is 0 less than 3 yep less than 4 1 is less than 2, is less than 3, is less than 4. 2 is less than 2, no, but 2 is less than 3 and 4, and 3 is less than 4. So hopefully this makes sense based on the bonus problem that you tried, in the sense that there are many ways in which you can make these connections. And in this case, the less than relationship looks like this, which is a really um, sort of messy connection. Now let's look at the second one. It says equal to. Okay, now let's check. Is A equal to D, E, F, G? No, it's not. So there's no line coming out of A. Is E equal to these? So E is equal to E, G is equal to G, and the others don't have lines. So what I want you to look here in, in these four cases are what kind of lines are we drawing? You know, what are the various things that are happening? The next relation is, is double off. 2 is double of 1 and 1 only, 6 is double of 3, 10 is double of 5. So we have a straight through connection here. Is square of, well 1 is a square of 1 and negative 1. 4 is a square of 2 and negative 2. So what we have here is, you have all these different diagrams you can make. And there's so many things that can happen. You may have a line not connecting any points. Now you may have a line connecting one from each set. You may have a line connecting one to many on the other set. Or you may have many lines coming out of the second set into the first set. All of these are valid because um, they are all relations. Meaning <coughs> they are loosely defined as any map between any two sets. Yeah, so. As always, we're going to be building concepts ground up, so we have the most simple concept to start with, which is a relation. Now, as, as I just said, we're going to start building concepts from ground up. Now we start imposing some restriction. Yeah? So we, we impose a restriction on relation, and we give them a new name that are called functions. So what is the restriction? The restriction is this, is that if there is a map um, from x to y, let's set x to y, and let's say this is a, b, c, 1, 2, 3, then the restriction says that there's only one line out of elements in x okay meaning that no matter what diagram i draw if i connect a to one i'm done with a i can no longer connect a to anything else similarly if i connect b to three i'm done now nowhere in here it does it say that i cannot connect c to three okay so just think about that for a second. That this particular diagram that I just drew does not violate this condition. Because there is one line out of L every element in X. It doesn't say about how many lines into any element in Y. So, so this is a valid, this is called a function. We're going to have multiple definitions or multiple ways of thinking about functions, but this is the most basic one. Now let's look at 
a non-example. Let's say I have A, B, C, I have 1, 2, 3, and my mapping looks like A goes to 1, B goes to 2, C goes to 3, but then B goes to 3, 2. This is not a function. Why? It's not a function because we have two arrows coming out of, or two lines coming out of B. So it's, it's essential that um, for a relation to be a function, there should be only one line coming out of the left set. This brings us to the idea of an ordered pair. So now we're moving on to, um, let's call this a new representation. This is a new representation of relation and functions. How is it new? First of all, um, this was our old representation, right, with um, pictures. Now let's say I draw these lines um, and I make them one, two, one, C to three. Now I make them one to two. I'm not, these are not necessarily functions, right? So they can be relations too. Um, okay, maybe let's do it this way. All right. Now, another way to represent these is as a set. And it's as a set of ordered pairs. Now, what does this mean? Ordered pair. Ordered pair means that you think of this as an arrow. You know, just like we've been talking about um, or referring to these sets as left and right sets. Let's say there's an arrow. Then I can, I can write... First of all, this one is a relation, yeah? Oh, sorry, this is a function. Now I can write this function and I use set notation, so I use curly brackets. Now my first pair is going to be A and 2. And then my second pair is going to be B and 1. And my third pair is going to be C and 3. So this is another way of writing the function. This is an ordered pair, meaning a comma two means that something else than two comma a. Now, if I go in here, the second example, this is no longer a function. This is just a relation, but we can still have ordered pairs, one b, one c. So in this case, you're going to list all possible lines, you know, terminals. Three c, three, three a. Um, 2C, 2A. So you can already see this is completely different, right? It's a relation, it's got multiple um, arrows coming out and all that. The second one here, this is still a function because it does not violate the principle of more, not more than one line coming out of each point on the left. And as a pair, it's 1, 1 and 3, 9. Okay, so these are called um, ordered pairs. Now, before um, I end this video, I just want you to sort of observe and see um, how you would frame the condition of something to be a function when you're given in terms of ordered pairs. For example, what is different about example 1 and 3 and example 2 that makes one of them a relation and not a function and the other two functions. <coughs> By the way, one thing to remember is that um, every function is a relation, right? Because relation is our basic object. We took the basic object, we applied a restriction to it and we got a new object called a function. So that means every function is a relation, but not other way around. Okay, meaning not every relation is a function. Okay, that's where I'm going to end the second video. Um, and then we are going to continue talking about functions in the next one.